episode of Sports Science. The world's best athletes step into our lab and under our microscope. We'll break down blazing fast reaction times with NFL Pro Bowler Van Roethlisberger and Major League All-Star Steve Finley. Get ready for a mind-blowing look at humans in flight. What can elite basketball players really jump over? And Chad Johnson takes on an elephant. We'll analyze the hardest hits in all of sports. Is it a pulverizing hit from Joey Porter or a knockout punch from Quentin Rampage Jackson? Brace yourself. The best athletes in the world are in the lab and off the leash. This is Sports Science. In this former airplane hangar, we created a one-of-a-kind laboratory. A high-tech facility with one purpose. To analyze the best athletes in the world. The cutting edge of science. The limits of human performance. The science at work in the games we play. This is where sports and science collide. This is Sports Science. We want to analyze an athlete whose job demands intense on-the-fly reactions in pressure cooker conditions. The NFL quarterback. So we brought in one of the NFL's best. Big Ben Roethlisberger. This NFL superstar has one of the best arms in the league. In 2006, he became the youngest QB to ever win a Super Bowl. Our mission, to scientifically break down Roethlisberger like no other QB has ever been broken down before. When I walked in here, I just didn't know what, you know, what was going on. So basically, this is an accelerometer device. It was a movie or what it was. This is going to measure the angular velocity of your arm. You know, this, this science, you know, lab, it's amazing. An accelerometer measures the rotational velocity of his arm. An A-pod tracks the precise movements of his body. An eye tracker records the exact movements of his eyes as he scans the field. And our phantom high-speed camera captures everything in stunning slow motion. We want to know what makes a quarterback tick. And we've got the science to make him talk. Looking, first thing I'm thinking is, well, what's the snap count on? Then I'm thinking, what is each receiver doing? What's my line doing? What's my running backs, my tight ends doing? Then I'm looking at the defense, what coverage they're in, how many defensive linemen are down. Uh, then I'm looking around and figuring out if anybody's blitzing. And then next thing you know, it's, uh, say, Hutt and Pandemonium Pebbles. Hey! How does he react to all that pandemonium? Here's an unprecedented forensic analysis of five critical components of a Roethlisberger pass. First, the drop back. Five steps in 1.2 seconds. Second, the eyes. Ben's eyes move from receiver to defender and back again in rapid fire, 50 millisecond intervals, faster than a bird of prey. Third, angular velocity. Ben's wrist maxes out at 2,900 degrees per second. An astonishing 490 RPM. That's as fast as a chainsaw. Fourth, arm speed. Ben's arm cocks back. 
then catapults forward from 0 to 82 miles per hour in just 18 hundredths of a second. That's faster acceleration than a top fuel dragster. Fifth, the release. The ball spins off Ben's fingers at 12 revolutions per second. The tighter the spiral, the more aerodynamic the flight. The result? A 60 mile an hour pinpoint pass. When all the moving parts sync up, from snap to release, it takes Ben 1.5 seconds to fire a strike downfield. TD for Big Ben. But if one link in this chain gets broken, and Ben doesn't have enough time to get his arm from here to here, a distance of just 29 inches, he will not get the ball off. So the question is, how much do the offensive linemen have to detour the pass rush to give Big Ben enough time for his arm to cover that 29 inches? To find out, we enlisted Ben's arch nemesis. All-pro defensive lineman, Luis Castillo. Ben and Luis need no introduction. They've met before in the backfield. A punishing hit. I'm sure he felt it. Luis, when you come in, you're going to try to hit the sensor on Ben's back. That'll stop the clock. You're going to go as fast as you possibly can. Sure. To establish a baseline, we set an obstacle up to help replicate the typical pursuit angle an unblocked defender takes to go from point A to point QB. Right in the nose. Yeah, I don't know. It's like the elbow. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's one of those. That's one make your eyes water. Just oh. get you just enough. You see what a quarterback can do? We make grown men hey, cry. Dude. Luis reaches Ben in 1.3 seconds and disrupts the pass, but in return gets a nose full of Ben's elbow. Our baseline reading: Luis will break up the play every time. I don't care how fast you are here. I don't think anybody can get rid of it that quick. No. You understand, we're not talking about your average D-lineman either. <laughs> Luis gets to Ben in just 1.3 seconds. But Ben needs 1.5 seconds to successfully move the ball that crucial 29 inches to get his pass off. To move his arm from here to here. How much extra distance does the blocker need to divert the pass rusher in order to give Ben that critical two-tenths of a second? To find out... We move the tackling dummy one foot farther from the line of scrimmage. That's just about the length of a football. That's, yeah, that's, that's too close to sell right there. Did he get him? Was the football size detour enough? Our Vicon House of Moves motion capture system reveals the answer. As Ben prepares to take the snap, Luis sets up 15 feet from center. On most pass plays, Luis has to clear six feet off the line of scrimmage to reach the pocket. If Luis gets past this obstacle unblocked, Big Ben gets his bell rung. But moving the obstacle out only one extra foot, about the length of a football, from the line of scrimmage causes Luis to travel an additional 2.4 feet on his path to the pocket. Surging off the line at 9 miles an hour, Luis covers that added 2.4 feet in 18 hundredths of a second. And that's all the margin Ben needs. That football-sized detour, equivalent to a stiff arm, a nudge, a bump, is the difference between Ben getting clobbered and lobbing a Ben bomb.
You know, I never knew that it only took me a second half to get the ball. I didn't know how fast it takes a D lineman to get off the ball. Now I can go back and tell my lineman, you know, if you can just give me give me an extra six, 12 inches to make him go around, you know, that's all you need sometimes. I like that I'll be able to take this back and, and, and tell my teammates about it. Coming up, Rampage Jackson, Chad Johnson, Steve Finley, and Joey Porter get pushed to the limit, and they all push back. Stick around. This is Sports Science.